Hey everyone, welcome to Wabiscape. Today we're going to be aquascaping an ecosphere. But before we get started, let's go on a little adventure. So to really introduce you to this project, I want to give you an understanding of what inspired it. There's this little creek in my yard and I often take my son down here to learn, to observe, and most importantly to play. We've encountered so many amazing things in this little creek. Fish, crawdads, beautiful aquatic plants, and even a huge snapping turtle once. But what really caught my eye were probably some of the tiniest and hardest to see little critters. Isopods. You know, roly-polies. These ones are a bit different though, because unlike our landside little friends, these ones are actually fully aquatic and spend their entire lives underwater. My love for isopods didn't start here, but that's a story for another day. After seeing these little guys, I knew right away that I wanted to build an aquascape for them. And given the nature of these little guys, what better way than to build an ecosphere? Somewhere they can have a tiny ecosystem all to themselves. And I have just the tank for them. A bowl. I mean, it wouldn't really be an ecosphere without one, right? So I put this little bowl up in my windowsill and got to work. I started by adding some aqua soil because it will be housing plants. I'm going to cap it off with some gravel. You can use whatever you want, sand, gravel, or you can even leave the aqua soil exposed. There's no rules, just have fun. For the hardscape, I'm just using some little rocks that I found near the creek. I'm also using some dried branches I found in the same area. Keep in mind that this aquascape has been mostly free so far, and I've only paid for the bowl. Everything else was either leftover materials or stuff I collected nearby. I had a bunch of trimmings of rotala for my beta tank, so I planted those in the back and around the branches. Depending on the size of bowl you use, space is a bit cramped. So keep in mind, your skate may feel a bit clumsy, and that's okay. It will grow in over time, and you can trim your plants to get the look you want. For me, I wanted this scape to have a cute little bush of rotala growing out of the center of the scape. And it's hard to see right now, but as everything settles and grows in, it will start to take shape. And that's really it for this little scape. It really is quite a simple endeavor. Only thing that's left to do is fill it up and add a few finishing touches. Now that the bowl is filled, I'm adding the heart of this little tank, the leaves, or to the isopods, food. These little guys are detrivores, and they love to consume decaying matter like leaves, wood, and even dying plants. Sometimes live ones too, so keep in mind they may nibble on your plants. So with the leaves in, let's add the main stars of this little ecosphere. It really is a complete little ecosystem. We have the botanicals and the plants providing food and filtration, and the little isopods will consume any decaying matter in the tank. And being that it's in the windowsill, it gets plenty of light without any need for artificial lighting.
So that's really it for this aquascape. It really is quite simple, and it's really rewarding. One of the best things about a setup like this is that for the most part, it was basically free. No filter, no lighting, and all the materials and inhabitants were completely free. And all of this can be scaled up as well. If you want to replicate this in say something like a 10 gallon, you totally can. And often you can keep it in the mostly free budget. I really love things like this. And this won't be the last of its kind on this channel. I mean, after all, it's really what Wabiscape is all about. So stay connected and consider subscribing. You'll see things like this and so much more. There are so many fun projects coming and I can't wait to show them all to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and were inspired to set up an awesome little ecosphere for yourselves. See you soon and remember to embrace nature in your aquarium. Goodbye friends.